हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट रेस्ट्रिक्टिव स्क्विंट so what do you see about restrictive squint actually this is not a true squint here in restrictive squint there is no paralysis is seen you are not going to see any paralysis in the restrictive squint but here the problem is there is mechanical restriction of the extraocular muscles why there is mechanical restriction of extraocular muscles this is because of the fibrosis of extraocular muscles will cause mechanical restriction of the extraocular muscles okay that means here there is a test which is called has force reduction test which is positive in restrictive squint okay now there are how there, there are different types of restrictive squint first type we have something called has duance restrictive syndrome what do you see in duance restriction syndrome in duance restriction syndrome number 1 you will see that there is fibrosis of medial rectus will occur or lateral rectus or fibrosis of both will occur in duance restriction syndrome second on attempted adduction when you try to adduct the eye on attempted on attempted adduction you will see that there is narrowing of palpebral aperture is seen when you try to do adduction there is narrowing of palpebral aperture is seen which is duance restriction syndrome and you can also see presence of ptosis is seen okay then if you try to do abduction on abduction that there will be widening of palpebral fissure is seen and there is also palpebral sorry palpebral fissure is widened on abduction and you will see retraction to be seen on abduction so when you do adduction there is narrowing of palpebral aperture occurs on on doing abduction there will be widening of palpebral aperture occurs so that is duels restriction syndrome this occurs because of the fibrosis of medial rectus and lateral rectus okay then the second type we have brown superior oblique sheath syndrome so what do you see in brown superior oblique sheath syndrome here there is superior oblique fibrosis will occur in brown superior oblique sheath syndrome you will see that there is superior oblique fibrosis which is occurring and you will also see that there is restriction of elevation in adducted eye because of superior oblique because what does superior oblique do it causes elevation in adducted eye so obviously because of fibrosis of superior oblique there will be restriction in the elevation of adducted eye then the third type we have strabismus fixus so what do you see in strabismus fixus in, in strabismus fixus there is bilateral medial rectus fibrosis is seen in strabismus fixus there is bilateral medial rectus palsy is seen along with lateral rectus palsy plus or minus lateral rectus palsy in strabismus fixus you will see that there is bilateral medial rectus palsy plus or minus lateral rectus palsy okay so these are the different types of restrictive squints okay thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching